Hello, my beautiful people from Otoshebo Mama. Thank you for watching our YouTube channel. Please do not forget to subscribe and press the notification button. Thank you. One love. Bye bye. So, we got to hit it very fast. Yeah, I can see some two or three persons don't come. So, eventually, if there are people watching uh, the background, you highly welcome to the home of uh, equal rights and justice. Like you all know, I'm the one behind this page. From time to time, I will be broadcasting from here to disseminate information to my people, how it concerns us as a people back home, and how we feel we can share ideas to see how we forge ahead and make a better country of our great country. Or rather, I was supposed to be a great country in Nigeria because I still still on ground now to the... To the best of my knowledge, we are not hit, we are not getting there because eventually this uh, COVID-19 has been able to expose a lot of uh, uh, lack holes in how our government have been able to really make things to supposed to make things to work. If I may use that uh, work, that language, supposed to make things to work. This uh, COVID-19 have really shown that we are not prepared in terms in in the days of crisis, in the days of emergency, in the days of whatever. In all ramification, let me quickly address some areas about how our people, especially the Nigerian government, addresses uh, COVID-19 that attack the world without uh, giving notice. Though it came to China, we never thought the whole thing we get so far like this. We never thought we were thinking it was a child's play that this whole thing we die down in China but eventually the thing spread like wildfire. It hit Europe like no man's play. Never in the history of uh, our world have we gotten this kind of a uh, standstill shut down in the world. Out of that, <clears throat> I'm not addressing how it affect the world as in Europe or America or China. I'm taking my argument back home, Nigeria especially, how it affect us as Nigerians. High issues that our government are not really putting the interests of the pe of their people at heart. How this COVID-19 exposed the inefficiency of governments in Nigeria. It has gone a long way. Even at the way they fumigate streets, the way they do it, it, it shows that we never have any uh, kind of a uh, machines on ground to face emergency. Look at this, uh, whatever they were using to fumigate the streets. Just look at, compared to what Ghana did, if I may use that, just look at how Nigeria have been able to ridicule themselves in the in the uh, airwaves to the world to show the world that they will be using something like what these organizers used to uh, to inflate tire to fumigate uh, streets. They will not come with high uh, halos and be pumping what, something like water in the streets, or rather on the streets, saying they are fumigating the streets. So, I never know how we came to this all-time low. Though when we were growing up, we, we, we were told that we were the giant of Africa. We look at ourselves as the most uh, precious thing that have ever come out of the black race. But with reality unfolding today, it then shows that we are just being, we are nowhere. We just begin to glorify ourselves. We make jokes out of everything serious. Everything serious, we take it to become jokes, joke, joke, joke. We create, it's like Nigeria are just born of a feed with comedians, if I may use that word. It's like Nigerians are feed with comedians. They don't want to face reality. They want to be uh, playing with uh, real issues. That bothers people and the way they will approach it it will look as if it's a joke we other people are taking serious measures to to cut a uh, certain uh, uh, st uh, stress certain pandemic that is threatening people's life the way the nigerian government is going about it is just like as if it's as if uh, we are still acting uh, some comic uh, movie some maybe this uh, uh i don't know maybe Aluwe, Aluwe comedy. Or Babasala comedy. It's like what we are at. The Nigerian government, they act. Taking people's life to play. Though this is not the issue I want to address. I'm just, just kind of trying to get some facts clear, right. 
Look at the way they said they brought some palliatives, palliative measures to distribute food to people in Lagos or wherever. Look at a street of a, about 300 houses. You'll be bringing, look, Nigeria, who do not this thing? It's not, it's not done. You're just ridiculing. You're just ridiculing. You're ridiculing us as a people. The government is not prepared and the people at uh, the helm of affairs. They are all comedians. They don't know what it entails to be head, to lead. They don't have it. So that being said, that being done, the major reason of this broadcast is about the Nigerian army. Like I rightly tagged this, uh, this broadcast, I said the Nigerian chief of army staff should call his boys to order. Why I come out today so we can talk about, I never intend to come out, but based on the videos I saw going viral, that a, a, Two Nigerian army, uh, Nigerian army boys came out to threaten fire and brimstone that they are going to rape people's uh, mother, people's uh, wife, people's children and infect them with HIV. And those are soldiers that have sworn allegiance to all the Nigerian uh, constitution first and to protect and to serve, to come out to radical us as a, as a nation. It's so sad. Very, very sad. That is why I'm putting my voice out to join other progressive voices all over the world to call the Nigerian army to order. They must be called to order because we are in the 21st century for crying out loud. We're not in the Stone Age. And the Nigerian army chief of staff should call and search for those boys that has ridiculed the Nigerian army. That is supposed to be a team of discipline, a team of, a team of an institution of honor that people look up to. I don't know what is wrong with Nigeria. How can the army that has sworn to serve the people, based on your overzealousness, you, you force the people, in all, with all due respect to anybody that has lost his or her life. I don't, I don't promote violence. I'm not in support of anybody that kills any army officer. Neither am I in support of the army that kills a civilian. But both of them have... They should be found wanting, and there is due process to follow this whole thing, to penalize those that are that are the culprits. That is how normal society and civilized society run their things. Not for the next thing we should hear on the cyberspace, for some two uh, bipolar sick individuals to come on air to threaten fire and brimstone that worry they are going to burn worry down. It's not done. It's unacceptable. The Nigerian chief of army staff owns Nigerians' apology from that blunder committed by by two of his soldiers. They should be dug out from any hole they are. They are enlisted in the Nigerian army. They have a badge number. They have battalions they are attached to. They are commanding officer. They are GOC. So fish out those corporate and apologize to the nation. They must apologize to the Nigerian nation that this is not what the Nigerian army stands for. The Nigerian army is not about infecting people with HIV and it's not about raping. These two people that call themselves Nigerian army, the Nigerian army have it as a duty. They owe us a very not a good duty to explain and bring those two people to corporate. Anything short of that, it then means that this country that we call Nigeria is not working. And I don't want to go into some vulgar words like some people call the Nigerian nation. I'm getting a call. Let me quickly see who is that. Okay, please, if you're the one calling me, I was so busy. I placed the phone on, on a silent mood. I was too busy addressing. Okay. Hello? Hello. Yeah. Okay, you, who is speaking with us, you should address the house, please, because we're addressing this issue about the Nigeria army trying to turn us to a zoo republic. Okay, my name is Osas. Okay, please. I, I, I Okay, great. Uh, you should hear yeah, some speaker, please. Let uh, you should address the house based on the issue that you feel that is it's really it's a thing of shame to us as a people. That's the first. Thank you for bringing this topic. Okay. A very important topic because maybe today this is that I remember about when this kind of thing happened. We remember the last one. I think last year, about uh, uh, operation and go to Ben Asma where they do for Una the Una the house. Yeah, yeah, they could die down in a, 
at the, uh, in the eastern part of Nigeria then? Yeah, maybe today it starts. Yeah. yeah. Anytime, even during Fela, when Fela called the zone, mm -hmm. that is their character. The problem is that every time Nigerian soldiers already tell us their true definition that they are animal in uniform. It's so unfortunate. Because if you look at the character that Nigerian soldiers, you begin to ask so many questions. Number one, what are the qualifications to the police to as the soldiers? Number two, is there any discipline in Nigeria army? If there is, why will this thing keep occurring every time, every time, every time, every time? Even before social media pick this data, where we see that they talk, say, uh, the soldiers in English, the, the, the share is to our mothers and their, their papa. They yeah. never even reach where soldier would just come and spoke man for that soldier. Uh, 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 soldier would be protected and say, Sorry, my people, the person has been apprehended. They get to according to their law. There is no military general now with that command, either from the state way for Apple or from the Oka. Somebody should signify, please. Osas, hold on, please. Please, somebody should signify if you're hearing him. Signify, yes or no, please. My viewers, please, signify if you can hear the caller. If the, if the audio quality is good, signify by saying, right, type in yes or no, please. Continue. Okay. Yeah. It never reached where the commander, where the lead data state uh, uh, command to come and say the person has been apprehended to ease to, to quell the anger of the youth. Happy, thank God to social media. If not social media, now we're telling us so this thing will happen. It would have been so in difficult. A, this thing would have been a, buried under the ground. Yes, in a civilized country, the person, uh, the person uh, 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 leading the uh, Nigeria army in that state that Apple will have come out, or the state person for Nigeria army in that division will have come out that, oh, this person has been arrested, is being under interrogation, is being under this, to point the anger of the people, but up to this very moment. Of course. Of course. That's what it's supposed to be. That's what it's supposed to be. That's what it's supposed to be. That's what you're doing. 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 That's what Imagine, we're supposed to be operating in a democratic setting. We're supposed to hear brief hearing. Even people from the governor, the governor of the state, that master, supposed to come out and condemn this thing. Civil, civil, civil rights organization in that state is supposed to come, come out as well as the people. What this things? Everybody oh. just keep quiet, keep quiet. One yeah, day, keep one quiet. Day, I was waiting from since morning. Now, sorry, to sorry to cut you off. Sorry to cut you off. Since you? Okay, continue. Yeah. Our soldier always gives the definition of zombie like the be. <laughs> so sad. Our <laughs> soldier always flex their power when it comes to civilians. That is when they flex their power. There is a battle to be, to be fought in the Sambisa forest. They couldn't conquer Boko Haram. But they kind of come to the street to as a bit of violence on our innocent uh, civilian, uh, innocent uh, uh, people. It's so if painful. If they deploy Nigeria soldiers, to, 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 to civilians, civilians in there. You go see there's another the one should say that the zombie, that the soldier waiting. Yeah. What a shame. Okay, okay, even though they, they say see Pakistan, see India, they deflow people. Do they ever see where they carry people for that kind of gotta put a pot of gotta? Never. Never. In the in the uh, say you they tell people may they not uh, may they not may they not get infected by coronavirus then you can't put them for gutter. They do if you say they not infected you see the soldiers when they when they load their self inside the truck. It's so painful, my my. Who who they even they carry the? In fact, the truth is say I think say my brother God bless you for coming here because when they try to let people to know what is happen for Nigeria, if you watch those videos really, if you watch the what what they say they they say. You will begin to ask yourself, oh, are we really in a zoo country? Obviously, as it is, it's like we are in the zoo republic, like Una and the uh, Kanu Kola. Because things are not working. Things are not working in that country. Your character is pointing to that direction. Of course. Because there's no human being. Look, you see police. 
today, police will tell you, say, uh, and they see uh, one of the watch uh, this my big brother, uh, Perkata family. The police will yeah. tell you, say, you should uh, police collect crime. Right? Call the number. So that police will be saying, the organ itself, no, no, say police. Yes, my brother, my brother, I, was I think you will, you go, you will summarize your, you will summarize your, you summarize your, your submission so that other people will feel still calling or make I just finish my talk. Then maybe, okay. uh -huh. just summarize. I give you three minutes. I I'll come back later. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay, so I think that was a good one from uh, our caller. He has just said it all because I don't know what is happening to us as a country. It's a, as if we are retrogressing so for us to progress. In this uh, modern time, our soldiers has come out, bastardizing our, our people, whereby the government never made palliative measures to make the people they comfortable, no light, nothing. And this, the funny thing, these soldiers are suffering the same thing. They are, they are still getting this, they are feeling this thing from this, uh, the oppressors. They have been oppressed like the people they see they try to oppress. I cannot get it. Why do you know they get, get the feelings, understand these people, say these people need to come out to also to eat. And at worst, if you want to take it, go home with diplomacy, not with their um, humiliation, this bastardizing of our people and with what you call first people, that's two uh, soldiers who come out with this video, we go viral this morning. To threaten, say they go infect our mothers and our sisters with HIV, worry. And this, the funny thing, we say these people now the full and the hair so they are so. We'll be telling you that these people are coming for us and they don't prove them. The two Nigeria army don't come on air to tell now the, 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 the mission of this uh, full and the jihadist people. The mission is full and it's people that to put they don't they don't tell us through the Nigerian say they will rape our mother, they will rape our sisters, they will infect them with diseases. This coronavirus can show us say who get here, make it make it stay attentive, make it follow progressive fight this fight, make we know how to put a good government in place because we will not accept this government of this Awusa people anymore. Because I don't know whether Buhari did you. If now Buhari did there, Buhari should address these people where they bastardize our people. He should come out to address these issues about this uh, Fulani herdsmen in our villages, southern part of Nigeria. The uh, Arawas have been able to push them. Come south, south now. The army now come to show us what they want to do to us. So, my people, now so I say, Amo, if anybody still gets time to contribute, you can call in. And tell me how you feel because today that be the first way I say make a make a make we share ideas, make I give people to contribute, make I give people time to contribute because it's not really strong issue where it really concerns us because now our future of our people back home. Not it's not things say because of say you day Europe, you day America. This is not go touch you, it go touch you when this thing come because these people they don't there's a bit the terror and the 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 hardship what they want to give us when the time when they come when they want to fulfill their mission. What they want for feed their mission, they will come on us. They will a Nigeria army soldier with uniform. What be saying in Nigeria? Now your tax, now your money. Where they pay tax, they pay them. If it come threatening, and the chief of army staff, if it were to be in the developed world, the chief of army staff should resign for that way those people do. If it were to be a developed country, that chief of the chief of uh, army staff of that country will go will resign if not fit fish those two birds under twenty four hours. Signal should be coming out from national headquarters to find those people. We are coming out. Let all people, let other social media presenters join me because don't be too only to the gossip. Don't be to the gossip, 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 gossip. Our country is in the need of voices to speak about injustice in our country. We need to come out and say no to this oppression to our people, no to police brutality, no to army brutalizing our people back home. We need to come out. If not mega comrade, who else? They project things about injustice of what anything happening in Nigeria. No. Some people are just busy. They can have how to extort online. Tosha here and there. Look at the vulnerability of uh, how are people they vulnerable, how they they, they uh, so stupid, all they know, all they know how to do. Donate, 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 donate. 
when there's a major uh, catastrophe ahead, nobody is speaking towards that. We are busy donating for one person to do this, one person to do this. These are the responsibility of government. Now, the government uh, full responsibility to take care of people if there is good governance. So we should not shy away from that fact to call our governments to order. That is what everybody should be doing. We must all call our government to order. At the end of the day, we will not see, say, those people will try to help. We don't even need to help them. The, the government will function where, when the government will function where, everything, then you will be less, you don't care for who, you know, able to get people like me, I'm not a, I'm, I'm living in a developed country, I work, at the end of the month, I get my salary, I pay my bills, I will not go to the next one to carry my problem, go meet her. I have my medical insurance. If I'm sick, I go to the hospital, I'm taking care of. Why should I come on social media to go beg anybody for help? That's what we should expect our people back home to, our government back home to give us. What you guys are, you're busy treat, they treat the thing from the surface, not they go the tap root to cure the thing from the tap root. The whole thing boils down to corruption. If we can key, even though not hundred percent, at least minimize her and be able to learn how to call our government to order, you could also say Africa, Nigeria will get better for it. But our people are not prepared. They know they they, they, they take the thing from surface. So if there is no caller, nobody calling, I think we've been able to hit the nail at the head. I think today I. I don't still come again, talk as it be, raw. The Nigeria Army, the head, which is the chief of army, the chief of army staff, should come out and fish those two corporates. We are saying, on behalf of all progressive Nigerians in diaspora, we are saying the Nigeria Army should call those two boys to order, and not even to order, they should be fished out and be penalized for such such statement, such such a slap to the nation. Of Nigeria as a state, because as Nigeria is now is a state, being run by a federal constitution and with democratic era, and those two stupid, animalistic idiots that wore the Nigeria Army uniform should be penalized. The House of Assembly, the National House of Rep members, House of Senate, the Senate President, the Chief of Army Staff, General Muhammadu Buhari, if you are there. Call those two people to order, and we want to see those people penalized because this is a slap to democracy in the 21st century. This is not the democracy that the people of Nigeria fought for during the time of Nadeko. This is not the democracy we fought for. This is not the democracy Ruben Abati was writing consistently then in Guardian newspaper. This is not the democracy some concerned individuals fought for. This is not the democracy. We are retrogressing. That is why, because I was an activist then, I was in school. And in, most especially, my city wife for go school, and for Apple. I was in College of Education, worry, when we were fighting for June 12 election. I was in College of Education, worry, at Jeba. So this time around, the same soldiers are killing our people back in worry. I will not take that. I will come out to voice out my opinion, how, how I see them. Even though not, not, even though not be worry, anywhere in the world, that thing, or rather anywhere in Nigeria, as far as in my country, a bona fide Nigeria army soldier, which is being paid with our taxpayer money, will come on air to certify and bring so that he is going, they are going as a body. The Nigerian army is going to rape and infect the people of Ori with HIV, rape their mothers and rape their fathers and their sisters and their brothers. If those will be gay, go for people, yash. My people, my people, we say no to this bastardizing of our people by the Nigeria army. We say no to it. So, there are no callers. Osas, if you are still watching, if you are not watching, if you can call in, just see Chippy, because I think maybe somebody will call in again. I mean, me call you, I mean, I don't be like, say, only you to talk. But eventually, as time they progress, we'll, get in, we'll be getting more collapse. Today, I just feel to make I share ideas. Let me be liberal because most times I they do my things fast, fast. I'll just give it. So I say make I do out today. Make people call in. Make people call in. Eventually, think the message will be passed across. Let me give now two, three minutes. If nobody calling, then we'll call it a day because I think the message. I've been passed across to the necessary authority to those. Uh, this thing will go, it will reach them. I will send her, I will shoot this video, make it go, make it meet them for Nigeria. They go get them. They must get her because this is no child's play anymore. It is no child's play anymore. We got to come out. I'm using this medium to implore all social media 
Persine, presenters, or whatever, let us come at Elmas to condemn this act of the Nigerian army. If not for anything, this one they try to say they will infect our mothers, our children, our sisters, our grandmama with HIV. It's a slap on us as a people. So, if nobody they call in, I will use, make a quickly tell them, I'm not going to like this page. This is the home of a uh, the home of uh, equal right and justice. I'm the one behind this page. I'm your true friend, your brother, Andrew Mafuma. I'm a progressive, an activist. I stand for equal rights. I stand for justice. I stand for good governance. That's what I stand for. I don't care who says is being God. I say it raw as it is. All I want is for my people to be, to be given the dividend of democracy. That's what I care for. To let them benefit and let it reflect on their lifestyle, on how they reason. That's what I care, not uh, whatever. I have never come on air to seek for funds. All I just want to do is to let my people get information as it bothers and how they should benefit from it. But I'm not saying that event might, uh, need might come later, but with the progress, we are progressing. We are not here to answer anything. I'm a political activist. If I say people were there behind me, I should know where I source my phone from. Not from all online. I don't source for front online. I stand for people that stand for progress. So, my people, my people. Who is there? Who is calling? Nobody. So, have a wonderful day. Think I'm done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.